Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. I'm glad you guys are here. Um, today I've got a cool little unboxing, I think, from a trade that I did, uh, kind of a three-way trade. But first off, I want to thank anybody who's come in to check out my knife, my ADC content. I appreciate you all. If you're so inclined and you haven't had a chance yet, it would really help me out if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, and it'll keep you updated when I release new videos, go live, and things like that. And then, mostly and always, I want to say thank you to all the channel members. Guys, gals, I appreciate you all more than you know. Um, thank you, thank you. So, I'm going to take my Amazon Valley Song, and I'm going to try to get into this box without doxing, without doxing the sender or myself. Let's see how that works out. So guys, thank you Brother M. So I have, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I am a big fan of Three Rivers Manufacturing, TRM knives. Um, I've collected TRM knives ever since I got into the knife game, right? I've got... Um, First started off, I think, with this TRM Neutron. And then I picked up a TRM Atom, a Shadow, a couple of little nerds, American-made knives. I've got just about all of them, except this one. These are extra scales. This is the little knife. This is the Atlas, guys. You can hardly find these anymore. Let me go into putting my stuff back in here. A little extra set of scales. Get this out of the way. And what we have here is we have a very, very small... slip joint. So this is not a locking knife. It is just a little slipper. Super sharp. Nice half stop. Let's see. I always laugh when I see the holes in those. But you can slow roll it out, right? with one hand. So it is a one hand knife. Um, yeah, it just got a neat, I can't tell, I guess it's a, a double detent, real stiff double detent, because there's no full size spring here. Um, but you've got a very distinct half stop. I might have to take it apart. Interesting. And then it locks open right there. Let's get some paper. I'll move my knife nerd thing. Very, very interesting. I'm trying to see what it's locking on. Okay. You've got it cut into these liners. So if you watch this one liner here, see how it moves up and out? See it moving right there? If you guys can see that. Watch right here. So these are springs. All right, let's cut with it. It has been used. It is pre-loved and pre-owned by a good buddy of mine who traded another good buddy of mine 
for a knife. The good buddy of mine knew I would be interested in this knife, checked with me, and then, guys, TRMs are such slicey beasts. I mean, therapeutically slicey beasts. And guys, this is not a review, just an unboxing, just to kind of check it out. And the great thing about TRMs, as you guys know, if we wanted to change our scales out to those blue ones, you just simply remove that screw. Remove that screw. See that right there? See that? How cool is that? I think it's very cool. But just so you guys can see, if we wanted to put our G10 scales on here. We drop that on like so. And we would have our G10 scales. But we are going to keep our micarta scales for now. Um, might have to go to TRM's website and see what kind of crazy scales they have for the Atlas. Um, but yes, yeah, super, super neat little knife with a really neat spring system. See that, how it just flexes that titanium? And then when it comes closed, boom, lowers back down. Very, very cool. So then we just take our scale, drop our screw, Whoops. All right, guys. So the little Atlas preceded the little nerd, right? So the nerd, locking knife, the Atlas, a slip joint. Both very similar geometries, very similar blades. A little bit of a revised blade here, but I'm so glad I've got this for my uh, for my history class, for my TRM collection. So guys, that is the TRM Atlas. Their little slip joint, I think the first knife they made, and uh, stoked to have it in the collection. Guys, I will give you a full review on it, tell you what I think about it, see how it locks up, I mean how it uh, lives up to being carried, cutting, all that good stuff. But until then, guys, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. And always choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.